the Maori first arrived in New Zealand on pioneering voyages from Polynesia in the 13th century. Although they brought some crops with them, much of their diet relied on hunting and gathering from the forest and ocean. A tradition which Maori chefs like Monique are keeping alive through their cooking. Now, foraging, is it big on the menu here? It is big on the menu here. A lot of the time, it's the only way to get your hands on these ingredients. Wow. And as you can see, I've got two machetes, one of which is for you. That's my machete? That's your machete. <laughs> Ask all the chefs at my restaurant. We I, all own a machete each. I know, but you don't walk home at night with this thing, do you? <laughs> no, you would tuck it in our backpack. You tuck it with your backpack. <laughs> These machetes are lethal. Monique is a woman I'm definitely not going to argue with, especially when she's on the hunt for wild food. So this is not like walking down a uh, supermarket aisle. No, this is uh, one of the hard work we do to get the food we need to eat. They're everywhere. Monique, really? Yeah. Seriously? Keep going, chef. But these vines yeah. are more than just a jungle gym. At their tip is a secret Maori delicacy. So these are the young shoots that come off the vines, and they're super tender. Wow. You can eat that? You can eat that. They're hard to find. It's like bush asparagus. Give it a try. They're really good. They are good. Mm. They are like asparagus. Mm. So soft and delicate. Yeah. Delicious. All I can see in this tangled forest are potential personal injury claims. Oh, here's a good one. But for Machete Monique, it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. What's that? Hotapito. Hotapito. Yeah, it's a native bush pepper tree. Wow. It's super spicy, super peppery. Have a munch on that. Wow. Oh, that one's spicy. Ooh. That is spicy. That's incredible from mm. that. Quite numb now, my tongue. Yeah. From hot. And it's going to stay that way for is a it? while. <laughs> <laughs> There's now a full scale forest fire in my mouth. But Monique's not done yet. It's amazing from the beach. It doesn't look that steep. She's got another surprise for me, high up in the forest canopy. That is deep in there, Monique. I know. It's a good workout. Isn't it? Next challenge. This is a uh, fuchsia tree. And the best oh. thing about this tree, Go on. the berries. And they're usually way up high. So the best ones, they're bright purple and they're super sweet. Yeah. But they're just a bit of a pain to get. So, so we just shake the tree and it'll drop down? No, you're going to have to go up. Seriously? Yeah. You sure they'll take my weight, the branches? We'll soon find out. I'll wait here. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Honestly, you said come foraging, right? Yeah. I didn't say it would all be on the ground. Just a little bit further now. Oh, <laughs> Do you hear that? I heard that. <laughs> there you go. It's like Tarzan up there. Can you see them? I can see them right in front of you. Right. Bloody hell, it's windy. So the bright purple ones, right? Bright purple, those are the ones we're after. If you toss them down... They look like tiny dates. 